Dr. CKK Matavela, uh, a village boy, not really a village boy, but a village man from the, 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 the place deep rural in Limpopo province at the Situpulani village, a second born in the family of six with uh, four uh, gentlemen and then the two sisters. Uh, with my mom and then my late father, may he so rest in peace. I went to University of Limpopo to, my intention was to study pharmacy, but unfortunately I had to start with BSc, so I did BSc, then I translated to, to pharmacy, which, you know, initially it was, it, back then it was a tough degree to do. I completed my degree, went, uh, started working at Mangueng Hospital, as an intern and commissar. Uh, in 2011, then I then realized, no, I need to join the Defense Force. And I joined the Defense Force in 2011, August. Uh, well, did there some induction? 2012, in February, actually January, they told me I must deploy. At that time, I was like, I'm, I'm new. I haven't done all the courses, but I said, no challenges would come my way and I don't grab it. So I did that. 2012 I went to the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo in the DRC, in the jungle of war at the time. And I was there for about seven months. And at that time people were deploying for three months. So I was there for seven months. And then I came back 2012, 2013, then I was also work I was still working at, at the one mil military hospital. And then in 2014, I decided I must pursue my career, further my studies. That's when I enrolled for my master's in pharmacology, which led me to then go to the institution, do the master's, and I was dealing with antibiotics at that time. But at that time I was dealing with antibiotics in humans. So I, I did my master's in pharmacology, completed it in 2017, and uh, that's when I became a pharmacologist, no longer a pharmacist. And then in 2023, I presented again my study. Well, I'll go back 2020 during COVID, I registered my PhD. And at that time, it was a standstill, which no one did anything. But I was just, you know, doing my proposal, even though initially it was like, you know, have you ever thought of writing a proposal for the light and darkness to share the same room, which is impossible because it, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do it. But what motivated me was, uh, when my father passed on, he told my aunt that I want this guy to be something. I want him to go to school, have a degree, because our parents didn't have that. My mom never worked anywhere, and she, she raised us during the difficult times. So I did it, firstly, for my father, that my late father, because that's what he wanted. Any parent would want something tangible for his or, uh, children or her children. So after he passed on, my mom took over. With the little that we, we, we had, she made sure that we survived. So I was doing it for my late father, I was doing it for my mom, because they never had a chance. I was doing it again for my children and my younger brother. To set the bar, because nowadays without education, you would agree with me that you, you won't make it. So, so that motivated me. I said, I'm going to register PhD. Then I registered PhD at the University of Limpopo in 2020. So basically I started dealing with the project in 2021. 2021 wrote the proposal and my, with my study, it involved... Uh, now, remember in my master's, I was only focusing on antibiotics in humans. Now, with my PhD, then I, I wanted to join antibiotic use in humans and their impact I mean, I mean, in, 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 in poultry, which is chickens, and their impact in humans. So basically what, what was happening was farmers reared their chick chickens for commercial purposes using antibiotics. So they feed their chickens with antibiotics. So your chickens, every time they drink, they drink antibiotics. Every time in the feed, they eat antibiotics. So that makes them to grow faster because the antibiotics 
kills the pathogenic microorganisms for the chickens to grow faster. That's why in four weeks time, you would find your chickens being ready to be consumed. That on its own has got an impact in humans because there's what we call gene transferase. So the gene transferase, it's, there's accumulation of antimicrobial resistance in chicken. No matter how good you cook your chicken, whether you, you, you have your chicken lasagna, you still have those genes. So when you consume that chicken, you automatically incur the, 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 the resistant part. And when you are admitted in a hospital, you, you, doctors would give you antibiotics, but you find that the microorganisms already are resistant to the antibiotics. So, so, so the, problems, the problem emanate from the farm, but affecting the patient in the hospital. So the, 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 my eager to know was curiosity. Why are they giving these chickens antibiotics timelessly? So that triggered my curiosity that I wanted to do the project, joining the two, so that we can understand where the problem lies. And then in 2023, I then did what we call metagenomics in antimicrobial resistance. So this is now a course that you then check what are the actual genes that are responsible for antimicrobial resistance in humans. So those are the certificates that we did so that I can uh, buttress my knowledge to uh, overcome the project that I wanted to uh, overcome. So I then uh, complete my PhD in, in, in pharmacology in actually 2023, but due to administrations and then the trip that we had, uh, okay, before I, I talk about the trip, in 2023 I, I, I was selected as the best uh, presenter and my paper was the best research paper during Surgeon General's academic days, which the abstract was then accepted in the International Committee of Military Medicine, which I presented in Australia. So then due to that trip, I could not all this administrative and the trip, I could not graduate from my PhD in 2024. So, so that's when uh, I graduated this year on the 12th of April. South African Military Health Service, towards military health excellence.